Action. Hello and welcome to Cushy TV, a straight talking YouTube channel. Yes, we're talking straight um, football, straight talking football. Um, before we start, remember to click and subscribe and tell others you keep coming this way, we keep giving that way. But um, yes, my genius um, football pundit, um, 10 year old Aaron, he uh, predicted three out of four results at our um, first show on football, and I thought we'd get him back and we will continue. So yes, he had three wins out of four. He said one game will be a draw. It was a narrow defeat by 2-1. So it was very good. So um, without further ado, we are going to talk to Aaron, who's a goalkeeper and a football genius. And we're going to see if he can show us um, a small profit. Remember, gambling is an horrendous thing. It's only, only fun. We keep saying that for his four little... Um, a, a little flat rear and there. So we're going to talk weekends football. I'm going to start the first 12.30 kickoff on Saturday. We're going to exclude Monday's kickoffs and we're going to exclude Fridays. Um, we're going to go into Saturday. First kickoff early one between Forest, Oast, Liverpool. How are you seeing the game? I've got to go with a straight win Liverpool. Straight win Liverpool. Um, key, key player, reasons why? Uh, it's got to be Mohamed Salah. Recently, they've had a 5-1 victory against Rangers in the Champions League. Uh, he scored a fastest hat-trick in, in Champions League history. Really? Yes, uh, some do, isn't it? Oh, it yes. is, yeah. So, um, any other reason other than Salah, uh, Liverpool's form, recent form? Um, well, he got fancy and they beat uh, City 1-0. I mean, that's some doing to beat the well, well, well I don't know much about football as you yes. but I know that that's um, they're some team yes. so back in form Liverpool um, away win you fancy right yeah. okay move on to three o'clock kickoffs so the, the toffee men Everton host the Eagles Palace Crystal Palace how are you seeing that game uh, I've got to go straight win Crystal Palace really yeah yeah, yeah. key player in that one that's got with Wilfred Zaha he, he's a good assister great all round player he's a good goal scorer can't see no reason why. And you can see a win for Palace. Okay, right, away win for Palace. All the way up to Everton. Right, three o'clock kickoff between City and Brighton. Man City v Brighton. How are we seeing that one? Well, I'm sure all of you can, can agree with me. It's only got to go one way, and it's uh, City's win. They've got the best goal scorer in the world and one of the best assisters in the world, Kevin De Bruyne and Haaland. But they have got a uh, dangerous Phil Foden. He's got fresh legs. He's a great all-round player. He's so all the way, okay. Yeah, I mean that looks 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 like a win, but it's a strange game football. So we're going to go um, home win City. Um, Five thirty kickoff on Saturday. It is um, Chelsea, the Blues. They host United. Yeah. Um, how are you seeing this game go? Now, some of you might not agree with me, but I've got to go for a uh, draw between Chelsea and United because United have been. Good form lately. They recently they uh, beat Spurs two 0 Yes. And Chelsea goes. It could be a good game. And yes. um, Brentford have recently had a good game with Chelsea. Yeah. Okay then. So we're going to go with draw on that. So we've got um, on Saturday's fixtures. We've got Liverpool winning away at Forest. We fancy the Eagles. Palace of course winning away at Everton. And Brighton will. Sorry, Man City will host Brighton. Who you think will win? Convincingly, City. Who you think they'll win? And a draw on the Chelsea game. Let's move on to Sunday. Um, the Wolves men, the Wolves take on, Wolverhampton Wanderers take on Leicester. How are we seeing that? Uh, Leicester straight win. Yeah. Just, just recently they beat uh, Nottingham Forest 4-0 uh, and a uh, nice free kick from James Madison. He's, uh, and he had two goals and an assist. Can't get much better than that, can you? So key player is? James Madison. James Madison, okay. So let Leicester away win. Um, Southampton v the league, I think the league leaders Arsenal, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, how are we saying that? Um, go in a win by Arsenal there. Win by Arsenal, key players? Odegaard. Odegaard, yeah. He's, he's a great free kick taker, and he's a great old assister, he's a speedy player. You've got speed as well. Yeah. So that could be the, the, the factor, there we go, Arsenal by the league leaders away win. Um, Aston Villa take on our team, Brentford. Now, um, let's try not to get biased here. Um, yeah. Let's not try and get biased here. We are Brentford fans, but seriously, how do you see this game going? Um, going to win Brentford, actually. Uh, ain't Brentford fan nonsense, yes. 
uh, going straight with Brentford. Their performance against Brighton recently was quite good, and our performance against Chelsea defensively was even better. Yeah. So you can see them possibly giving very little away to the other. A key men in the Brentford field. How do you see um, um, who's playing well? Do you he see? ain't been starting lately, but I think he could start in this game. And that's Damsgaard, our recent signing. He scored that free kick in the Euros, and it was some free kick. He's a good assist. Yeah, star. okay. He's a good free and kick. Damsgaard could add, add to it. Which position does he play in? Mid? Midfielder. Midfield, right. Okay, he can be a great assistance to yeah. players like Brian and Bamer running off, and who could feed through then to Tony. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to Brentford away win. All right, let's hope you're right on that one for sure. Um, Leeds v Fulham. I'm going Fulham win on that one. You're going Fulham win. Um, give us a reason for that. Um, Our West London rivals, of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, just Fulham, they've been a great form lately. You got to admit it. They've just been beating them teams that they should have lost to re recently, and they're quite a good team. They're quite a good strong side. Um, any key players that might make the difference? Uh, Mitrovic. Mitrovic? Mitrovic. Okay. Yeah, he's great goals okay, so we're going Fulham away win. And finally, last but not least, the Spurs, the Tottenham Hotspurs, the uh, the Magpies, Newcastle. With, um, how do we see that game going? Uh, I'm going to draw. Some of you may not agree with me, but Spurs ain't been on good form lately. Losing 2-0 to Man United and... I mean, they wasn't playing too well in that match, but Newcastle, they've been on quite good form and I've just got to say draw, yeah. Okay, out of the fixtures I see there, um, we've got nine fixtures, yeah, you've got two draws. Who are the bankers that you would convince in the two or three teams, two teams, stroke three, who are the two teams that really stick out to you there? Well, I'm sad. Actually, you've got three draws, two, three draws, six wins. Who would have seen it really stick out to you that you would have um, if, uh, if I advised, because last week's advice, I picked out the two teams, um, it was Spurs, and they won 2-0, and uh, Wolves. Wolves won 1-0, and you got me over the line, and that was a double way, and I won a little bit, thank you, me and my mate, um, John, John Brown, Cocker, he, he watched it, so we were down at a, at a, at a little way, just, so I'm really, thank you on that one, but who are the two teams stick out teams that, or, or who are the teams that stick out and you're convinced more wholeheartedly will win? Well on Saturday I've got to go for Manchester City and Liverpool. City they've just been dominating the league lately, well not since they played Liverpool but they have been quite a good strong side and Liverpool have just been back on form being City 1-0 and yeah. yeah. Okay so the bankers, I'm going to have a little double again on City and Liverpool. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a little like example, say £2 on each result example, yeah, ones that you predicted draws, and I'm going to see if I make a profit and I'm going to pull out maybe something like a five or double, put a little double aside, or the one that you think are your bankers, which is City and um, Liverpool. So that's the nine results. Um, okay, so um, give us your feedback. Um, Let's um, build up a fan base of football because I'm going to have this expert on the show more often. So we sign off by saying, what's the message for the fans? Well, we'll be laughing all the way to the bank if we get this right. Yes, but as a legendary old player once said, it's a... Oh, it's a funny old game. It's a funny old game. It's a funny old game and we'd much rather you see anything can happen. We'd much rather you see put that little bit down instead of a great big, because this is only fun. But it'll be a lot more fun if we win, because the winner is much happier than the... Losers, hoi, hoi. <laughs> 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 <laughs>